Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Break Games, and today we're talking about Funko Fusion, and more specifically, the Invincible franchise, which is one of the 20 plus franchises that is going to be featured in the game. Because at San Diego Comic Con just over a week ago, we actually got quite a bit of gameplay from Invincible. This is by far the most violent gameplay we've seen from Funko Fusion so far, so we're going to be doing a bit of a breakdown of all the footage that we got. Now this footage comes from YouTuber Jojo Mon Returns 91 He was gracious enough to upload the full Funko Fusion panel from San Diego Comic Con, so a link to his video will be in the description if you want to watch the full, roughly hour long panel. Alright, let's get into this. So it starts off here with a shot of Omni-Man's fist, and here we have, uh, looks like maybe a Battlestar Galactica character there, shooting some sort of a terminal on the wall with a Funko, looks like an ammo crate there almost. Let's continue on, you can kind of see the city in the background. There, Invincible is holding up a building. And there's a shot of Omni-Man. And look at this punch, dude. Look at that punch that Omni-Man just did. You see the blood spew out? Don't worry, guys. There's going to be a lot more... <laughs> it's going to be a lot more violence to come here at the end of this clip. Look at that. Just the beat down, man. Look at this famous clip here. So, I haven't even seen Invincible, but I know about this clip because it's all over the internet. And so, they've recreated this scene where he's doing the beat down. Omni-Man's doing the beat down on Invincible. And they uh, straight up recreated that for Funko Fusion, which is just hilarious. Also in the background there, you can see one of those recycle machines we've seen in the gameplay so far. It's not 100% clear what those are for, but we'll continue on. And there he's floating out in space. I don't know if we're going to be able to fly in outer space or not. I kind of doubt it. I think this is probably just for cutscene purposes, but pretty cool nonetheless. Here we've got some uh, minions. You guys, you Invincible fans will have to let me know what these guys are called. I tried to do a little bit of research before I uh, did this little analysis, but I couldn't find the names of these these like enemy soldiers, so we're going to continue on. But it looks like these are going to be kind of the uh, you know basic enemy that you're going to be fighting within the Invincible cameo level. And here we got uh, another shot where they're playing as Battlestar Galactica. There's a comic store here. And I don't see anything too much of significance. Here's some sort of mini game where you're... Uh, this is the PlayStation version, which is interesting. We haven't really seen the PS5 version of the game so far, uh, but this is definitely the PlayStation version because we have the triangle button and the circle button right there to exit. So it looks like you're accessing some sort of a satellite in outer space to do some sort of a puzzle. And so here comes an airstrike. Here is some more gameplay that you can see the HUD. You got your inventory. You got your current objective up there in the top right. Not, not sure what that objective is. Looks like it's let's say seven out of seven or two out of seven. It looks like they've already done it. You got your health bar, you got your vinyl. Right, let's continue on. So they're using a ranged attack there. And here, so this is a blue mold machine, which we've uh, seen Arthur Parsons confirm that these are called mold machines. And so they go up to the mold machine, and here they craft a sentry turret. So you can see there's a, a left and right arrow to scroll through the different things that you can craft. So the idea here is that you spend your vinyl currency to craft different upgrades and items throughout the game. And the sentry turret actually comes from the Battlestar Galactica universe. So... Again, there's a little bit of a franchise uh, collision going on here where you have Battlestar Galactica stuff being joined into the Invincible world. Continue on here. Look at all the, uh, let me go back there for a second. Look at all the random NPC characters as well kind of running around. Interesting. So there they set up the sentry turret to take down some enemies. This looks to be the radius. This red line here is maybe the radius that the sentry turret can shoot in. You got a, looks like a Funko Pop box right there. So that might be a location where you can switch characters. You got a red mold machine right here, and then a blue one right there, which they already accessed earlier. If I had to guess, there's probably a green one farther to the right that's off camera. And over here on the bottom right, it says Task Stop Omni-Man. So, I guess that's the main objective. And now we've switched back to the Xbox version, by the way, because now it says press Y to view the objective. So, interesting how this footage has multiple versions kind of going on simultaneously. Let's continue on. Here we got some detective work going on. So this detective stuff with the camera and the crime scene and everything, this comes from the Hot Fuzz universe. So this is a, you know, an ability that you unlock from playing Hot Fuzz. So again, more uh, franchise collision going on here. And there's another objective right here. It's got a picture of Invincible. It says zero out of four. So some sort of objective there. There's multiple objectives in this level, it seems. And so they're solving some sort of a crime scene. They're jumping up here onto the side of this building. They're uh, shooting at this thing, which we've seen in Battlestar Galactica before, where you shoot at one of these colored, uh, whatever you call that, crystal of some sort, then it shoots something else. And here we have the Hail Mary creature. <laughs> Again, you invincible guys will have to uh, maybe explain what this creature is a little bit more, but uh, yeah, this is the Hail Mary, I know that. And this seems to be the big, possibly the final boss, I'm assuming, of the Invincible cameo world. And so there we go, they're fighting... <laughs> 
Hail Mary. And here we go. This is the brutal part. Look at Invincible here just get torn apart. Let's just let it play. Oh, man. Look at that blood spewed everywhere, too. Man. <laughs> Let's watch that again. It just spews. Man, that's pretty... Uh, it's pretty graphic for a T-rated game, I must say. And there you can see that recycle machine as well there in the background. Uh, but yeah, that is the main Invincible gameplay clip that we got. So now I'm going to cut to the Comic-Con panel where we got some more information about the Invincible level from Robert Kirkman, who is the creator of Invincible. And uh, listen to what he has to say right here. Now that ending is not, strictly speaking, canon per se. Well, I can say here officially that, you know, when you have a character like Angstrom Levy giving Invincible access to the multiverse, this game is actually 100% officially canon with the show and the comic. It's a big deal. So there you have it, Invincible and Funko Fusion is officially canon within the multiverse of Invincible. I thought that was pretty funny, so let me know what you Invincible fans think about that. So, so Invincible's in the game, as, as we call it a cameo level. So we, so we have worlds um, that you can go around and explore and they're huge and they're expansive. Within the worlds are hidden cameo levels. So there you have it, Arthur Parsons confirms that Invincible is a cameo level. We're not sure which universe this cameo level is going to be found in. But uh, yeah, this isn't going to be like a full world in the game, it is a cameo level, but these levels do seem to be pretty meaty, like they have multiple objectives and everything like that, full cutscenes, so, so don't let that make you think, you know, this is just going to be a small part of the game, I think it's going to be pretty significant. The thing you saw there, um, now that it's canon, um, which is great, um, that's actually the fail, if you fail to help Mark, that's what happens. So there, Arthur Parsons from 1010 Games is explaining that cutscene where Mark or Invincible is getting, you know, ripped in half by Hail Mary. That is one of the death animations in the game. So, pretty brutal there. So then they also gave us more Invincible gameplay, at least gameplay of the characters from Invincible. Uh, so right now it seems like Invincible and Omni-Man are the only two playable characters from this franchise. But you can play as them, of course, in any universe. So that's what this next gameplay is all about. Let's go ahead and start it. And it looks like we're in Battlestar Galactica right here, and over here on the right side of the screen you can see just the edge of one of the red mold machines, so this is where you can craft upgrades for uh, spending your vinyl currency. And he seems to be hitting a button here on the wall to open up this door. And I like how the doors have like Funko crowns on them. There's Funko crowns on a lot of different things in this game, which I think is a little nice attention to detail. There's Omni-Man again, he's, we seem to still be in Battlestar Galactica from my knowledge, and he's holding this like green alien, so I don't know if this is from Invincible. You Invincible fans will have to let me know. This might be his ranged attack, like his ranged weapon. Maybe this shoots out something. Not 100% sure, because here in the next shot, now we're in Five Nights at Freddy's, he's still holding that, so I think that might just be his ranged attack or his ranged weapon. And also, Five Nights at Freddy's here, we can see Freddy Fazbear, we can see Chica, and we can also see Bonnie. Uh, it seems like Freddy and Foxy are the only two playable ones, but uh, yeah, they definitely have the character models for the other ones, so interesting there. Let's continue. And here we got some more Five Nights at Freddy's where you can explore the entire uh, pizzeria, and Omni-Man's beating some people up, and here is Invincible here in the Back to the Future universe. And look at his ranged weapon. He's got like a, a cheeseburger like in, a, in the packaging, like looks like Funko packaging almost. Is that like a reference to the show or something? Is there some cheeseburger joke like I have no idea why he why that would be his weapon let's continue on here this looks to be Jurassic World yeah you can see the uh, dinosaurs there in the top right zero out of four and so he's beating some enemies up here now let me go back he's using his uh, ranged cheeseburger attack there look at that Battlestar Galactica universe it looks like Bunch of flashes, there we go, hang on, hang on, it just flashed multiple universes right there. So we had Five Nights at Freddy's, and then, looks like, what is this, a beach? This is Jaws? So we got Jaws there, he's also got another weapon here, looks like a gun of some sort, so... I'm not sure what that green alien thing was, maybe the green alien is like his melee weapon. Hmm, interesting. And there we had Shaun of the Dead, now we're in the Shaun of the Dead universe, I believe. And so he's doing a ground slam, we got some green hearts, so I believe that means he's healing, or green plus or health signs I guess I should say not hearts it says the village what does that say the village P something what do you guys think that says I think we're in the Shaun of the Dead universe aren't we or is this Umbrella Academy because I don't recognize these characters from Shaun of the Dead we might be in Umbrella Academy here let me know okay now we're definitely in Shaun of the Dead here because we got zombies everywhere <laughs> Taking on some zombies as Invincible. Look how Invincible kind of hovers around. 
That seems to be his sprint is his hover. And look at this crossover right here. We got a Walking Dead crossover with Rick Grimes there meeting up with Invincible. And it looks like Rick Grimes is going to have a revolver pistol as his ranged weapon. And here in this shot, we can see a blue mold machine here. That's where you can craft different items like the sentry turret. Bunch of zombies. This is the shot of the dead cameo level for sure. And there he's shooting his pistol against a lot of the zombies here in Shaun of the Dead. And here we have Michonne from The Walking Dead. With a silver chest behind her, by the way. So she's taking on some enemies. And there's a good shot of Rick Grimes and Michonne right there. And again, guys, the Walking Dead DLC does come for free if you pre-order the game. Otherwise, it's going to come later for about $10. So you might as well pre-order just to get it for free. So save yourself 10 bucks. And that is it for the new gameplay there, Invincible Cross the Walking Dead. So lots of cool gameplay here. And then here at the very end, I did want to mention here that they have also announced two Invincible Funko Pops. And I'll go ahead and show this footage off here from Comic-Con. And so there's a shot of the Invincible and the Omni-Man Funko Pops. Now these are not official Funko Fusion Pops, so these do not include the DLC codes. But, you know, these are related to the game, so I just wanted to show them off here. Alright guys, that's everything that was revealed for Invincible for Funko Fusion at San Diego Comic Con. Be sure to like this video if you learned something new, dislike it if not, subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Brick Games.